Hi everyone, this is Felisa here with Homebody. So as you can see, it's nasty and wet here in Houston. Today is Saturday, can't do anything. So what I decided to do is just play around in my living room and just again, stress how much I love having a neutral background. When you have a neutral background, you can just change out your pillows, your florals and candles and change the whole setting of your room. So I'm just gonna play around and just show you how you can do that when you have a neutral background, such as a gray, silver, white, um, beige, tan, or something like that. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm gonna be playing around with today, just keep on watching. Okay, so here you go. You see, I removed all the purple eggplant or whatever color you want to call it. I call it purple, but it could be eggplant in some sort. But anyway, it's all removed. You have just my favorite color. Well, one of my favorite colors because ultimately my favorite color is red. So yeah, so you see... The items here. So now I'm just going to go ahead. Oops, I have something I left out that I'm going to put back in the vase. I actually ended up taking this out of the vase. Well, I'm going to put that back in the vase. So I have a few colors in mind. So let me try the first color. Okay, love, so I decided to start with my favorite color, which is red. So the only thing that I did in this room to use red as my pop of color is I added the pillows and I added the two candles here and I added two little candles here. I put some glitter in my vase and I added, I added this, string of sticks here now when your style is glam you can use some christmas items throughout the year and in my opinion this can be used all year round if you're a glam and you love red so and i also used two little taper candles over here in the corner and that pretty much sums up how you can get the red as your pop of color if you have a neutral background. So I'm loving this and yeah. So this would even work for Valentine's Day if you have some items that could, let me see if I have some items that I can just throw in here to let it, to give us that Valentine's Day look. Okay, so here is what I added into the room to give it that Valentine's feel. I changed out the candle holders and put these little votive candle holders here. And I added this little heart. It's like a, it's really heavy. It's like a paperweight, but I'm using it as coffee table decor. I added this his and her forever monument here. And I added this other little heart here. It, I really like this. You can open it and close it here. And I also added the pillow. This pillow is actually a recent purchase that I'm probably going to use in my master bedroom. I'm going to do a Valentine's master bedroom video. So this is what this pillow here is for. I do have a heart shaped white pillow that I was looking for to put in here, but it's embedded in a whole bunch of other pillows that I didn't feel like pulling out at the moment. So this is a really nice setup for Valentine's Day. All you need is a pillow with a heart or I love you on it and maybe a couple of red candles. And that's all you need to bring out Valentine's Day. Any color that you see fit, it does not have to be red. But if you want the traditional colors, this will suffice. So here's another small Valentine setting that I set up in my tray. I pretty much moved everything to the middle of the tray. 
Okay, love, so in this setting, I pulled items from out of my daughter's room. She has that blush pink and like gold and champagne-y like colors. So anyway, I think this is cute in here and it goes well with the silver. It's not anything that I would actually prefer to use, but it goes perfectly fine with the silver. I actually ended up removing my silver vases with the silver picks poking out. Because if I was going to actually use this, I would actually have some pink on the corners on each end table. But I don't have anything pink to put on the end tables. Maybe some pink candles, which I don't have. So this is perfectly fine. So what I did to tie this in is if you notice I have the white lamps on the end tables. I made sure that I bought in some white pillows which is tying in the lamps with the pillows and also in the middle which is make which is making it like a pop of pink is I have the pink in the middle and I also have the throw on the end. So it's just like a pop of color in this room. It's not like the whole room is has a pink tone in there, but the bottom line is you can actually put any color in with a neutral color and still get a nice look. Okay, love. So in this setting, I'm showing you how you can use silver and gray tone, no, silver and gold tones and still get a nice look. So I'm using my most recent purchase, which is this gold ginger jar. I've already had this miniature ginger jar and my my uh, other ginger jar over there on the floor. And all the other items that you see here, I've had in the past. You've seen them before. If you've been following me for quite some time, that particular Ming box there came from Home Goods. It was $19.99. And these candle holders on the side came from Burlington. My gold tray came from Pier 1. That tall ginger jar over there came from Home Goods. My books came from Etsy. And you all know where the pillows came from, except for this pillow here. This pillow here is a recent purchase from Home Goods. I love this. I actually was lucky enough to get some drapes this color as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in my daughter's room or in my home office. So I'm loving this mixture of colors here. Now, this pillow here is really weird to me because sometimes the bottom section here looks silver and sometimes it looks champagne. So anyway, no matter what color it looks, it's working well with this set here because you have the silver here that's pairing, that's, that's, um, pairing in with the silver in that pillow and you have this champagne gold looking color that's pairing in with that pillow. But overall, I'm loving this look. I think I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to call it a day. Okay, everyone. So this is the last setting that I'm going to be presenting. And it's actually my most favorite just because it has my signature teal color in there. So what I did was I had this teal and gold in my home office. And so I pulled it out of my home office. Okay. So I pulled it out of my home office and it's really, really cute. So I have this Ming box set down here and I have these ottomans. These ottomans actually came from Ross and they're super, super cute and goes well with the teal. Golden teal is really beautiful together. And I have my, actually everything's still the same. I just pulled in the teal pillows and the teal candles and the teal Ming boxes and ottomans. Other than that, everything is still the same. So as, as I've been presenting to you the different colors that you can use in a neutral background room. Okay, so this is a better view of the room. Oh, and I did mention my little knot pillow. It came from Wayfair. No, where did they come from? I think they came from Burlington. If it came from Wayfair, I'll leave a link below, but I think they came from Burlington. Everyone knows that these little items here came from Pier 1. This is a ginger jar actually came. Is it a ginger jar or just a vase? Came from Home Goods. And then I have my lantern over here, which I did not put my top on it. It actually came from um from Home Goods. 
So here's a better view of the golden teal.